In this video, I'm going to be going over and breaking down how Cover 3 is going to be the meta going forward, especially against Gun Bunch. I'm going to break down a little defense that you can use to slow down some of the things that Gun Bunch likes to do and uh, talk a little bit about just kind of where we're going defensively in the Madden world right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It is absolutely awesome. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. And so if you have not hit that subscribe button, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button right now it is completely free for you to subscribe to this channel and if you want to know whenever we release a new video um it's subscribing is the best way to stay up to date but knowing whenever we release a new video what you want to do is you want to turn on that uh you want to click that bell icon at the bottom right hand corner of your screen right now and that's going to be able to turn on those notifications that way you never miss what's happening um on the channel now, uh, I've talked about this briefly uh, over the course of the weekend. I've been labbing it a lot the last couple days, but I want to talk specifically about a couple things. So first and foremost, um, as far as your uh, coaching adjustments goes, these are the coaching adjustments that I want you to consider trying out, um, at least for the next week or so, uh, as this meta begins to shift. We're going to turn auto flip to the, the play call on. We're going to put auto alignment to default, ball and air defense to play ball. We're going to put cornerback matchups on balance, option defense on conservative and 25 10 and 5 for your zone drops uh, is what we're going to start with now we're going to be breaking down specifically the mike blitz 3 and some adjustments that you can do out of this to help you stop a lot of what people are going to be trying to do and we're going to be first and foremost focusing in on the gun bunch um, which in my opinion is the toughest offense right now in the game to stop and i actually have a full ebook on the bunch if you want to get my offensive ebook that's in the description now, if you have any questions about this video or if you want to get my full uh, 335Y defensive ebook, uh, my defensive ebook is in the description. I have a one hour preview to it in my text message membership. So all you have to do to get that is just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That's my new cell phone number. If you have a question, you can just text your question over uh, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Again, my cell phone number is 218 I'm sorry, 208-218-6900. Okay. So, cover three. So first things first, um, I wanna talk about cover three specifically with zone drops. And the reason why is I think the cover three is actually gonna play a lot better with zone drops and so first and foremost i just want to go over this play flood and i want you to kind of watch how this defense will play so we're not gonna make any adjustments here and i just want you to watch and what you're gonna see is you're gonna be able to basically uh stop the flood concept now my experience has been this actually a little bit glitchy practice mode is not all the way caught up to the game mode so some of the updates i don't think have woven its way all the way into practice mode but by the end of this week this should all be uh kind of rolled over here but i do want to because i've noticed it playing a little bit differently in game but basically what i want to show you here is this mabel coverage is now another option i mean mabel coverage is going to make a massive comeback here um on this left side what i'm going to do is simply put my uh put, put my safety here into a hook curl as you can see right here i'm not going to put uh, a cloud flat over there because i don't really need to i can just go use that crossing route but what you're going to see is you know for a play like flood when you have those 10 yard curl flats and they try to throw this out route you're going to be able to pick that off nine times out of ten and they're not going to typically be low balling that route because you have a zone uh in that area of the field as well uh, with your with your vert hook you're going to be able to get out there so that's why i like this coverage right here for bunch right now this is kind of my go-to coverage um, basically a hook curl and a curl flat zone now can they hit the flats yes they can hit the flats they can hit the flats left but basically you're going to come up and you're going to tackle them so you're going to come up tackle them for a five yard get five yard deal and then at the right time in the right situation you're going to change it up and maybe you're going to run some man coverage or you're going to run some you know something quick over there to, to kind of slow that down but again you're going to see defensively right now this is kind of my bunch defense at least for right now um, and that is to basically shade coverage down and shade coverage up and then all i'm going to do from there is i'm going to put both linebackers into seam flats on the outside i'll typically change that safety to a hook curl and I'll probably drop a vertical hook over the middle of the field too. And this defense right here is incredibly effective uh, for stopping this uh, this offense, specifically stopping this little Z spot 
setup that everybody likes to use. You're going to notice here that that corner route is no longer open. That outside third does a really good job at kind of coming back down and taking that away, especially whenever you set your zone drops. You're going to find, like I said, that the cover three is going to play a lot better when you have zone drops on the field versus when you don't. Um, you'll see here on the back side, if I try to throw a little option route to the running back, you're going to see that that hook curl is going to do a really good job at sitting on that. And, and most of the time we'll intercept that, which allows you to just simply use her over the intermediate middle of the field on this play. So for example, if I was trying to stop, um, if I was trying to stop the play flood, then I would basically go with my standard setup here, right? The only difference is that I would, and, and honestly you could do several, I mean, there's so many things you could do with this, but another thing you could do is simply take your, your safety. You've got that hook curl, you got the vert hook, and now if, I, if they're running the play flood, what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, I'm going to use her up this right here, and then I'm going to jump back over here to the middle, just like that. And that takes away one of my personal favorite passing plays in the entire game with just a simple Mabel coverage. You're going to see Mabel coverage make a massive, massive return uh, to, the, to the competitive scene, in my opinion. Another setup would be something like this right here. The only problem with this is whenever you put that... Um, whenever you put that that deeper zone onto the linebacker, he's not always going to get out. I mean, he does. You see there, he doesn't get out. But look at that outside third. That outside third plays it really, really well. Does exactly what we want it to do, especially in a situation like I said, where we're using zone drops. When you use zone drops, um, it actually will make the cover three a little bit more effective, um, especially against gun bunch. Now there are some still bugs with this. Um, but all, overall, that cover three will play a lot better. As you see right there, that's probably the biggest thing that we gotta work through is, is that route right there getting open. But um, this, is still, this is still a very viable, uh, very viable defense. For example, if I jump over here to the mesh setup, um, the mesh is a very phenomenal little, little play here from the bunch. Uh, and the reason why is because it's really, 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 really good um, against, you know, just kind of just some of the meta. So you're just going to motion this out. And I just want you to watch and see how this plays. And this might get open here, but I just want you to watch. You see, it's a lot less likely to get open. You got three people over in that area, and they're they're not always going to make the play, but they will make the play sometimes. So anyway, suffice it to say here real quick that that is that is what i would do that's at least where i would start with gun bunch right now i would definitely start with this little mike blitz three kind of what we used to do honestly um and even something as simple like this is something i've been doing a lot lately which this won't work all the time but if you want to send three i would just hook zone all the linebackers and then what you'll note what you'll notice is you'll actually play fairly decently it won't stop everything but you will the, the zones will play decently the purple zones will get out there on it that outside third doesn't always jump onto it but a lot of times that outside third will get out there on corner routes right now so try out cover three if you haven't been using it they're going to beef up zone madden is shifting people have been complaining about man coverage for months now you're going to see a major shift to zone coverage and if you've been labbing your zones like we have on this channel you're going to be very prepared so mike blitz three cover four drop cover four show two tampa two those are coverages that in my opinion are going to make a massive comeback so this is my starting point for bunch defense going forward. If you have any questions about this, I actually wrote a whole ebook on this defense. And if you want to get the full ebook, it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description of this video. But if you have any questions, you can always text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time, guys.